Mr. Minnick here, getting my Java students help with while loop worksheet number two. Please read the directions to make sure you understand what these various operators do, and let's proceed. Number uh, one, num equals five. The control expression is true, so we do iterate through the loop. We system out print num, which is currently equal to five. We uh, plus equal two, that is we add two to a five to make it seven. The closing curly brace tells us to go back up to the top of the for loop, I'm sorry, the while loop, uh, where we see that this time around seven is indeed less than 10. So again, it's true. We go through the loop, we system out print num, because of the ln, num at this point seven prints out on a new line. Num plus equals two, that means we add two more to, to num. We go back up to the top. Nine is less than 10 through the loop. System out print num. Nine prints. Num plus equals two. That bumps that up to 11. We go back up to the top of the loop. And this time, we evaluate the control expression. And 11 is not less than 10. Um, that expression is false. So we do not iterate through the loop again. In fact, we're finished with this code segment in exercise one. Please circle the final value stored in num, and uh, there is your output. Next question, number two. Two integer variables are being declared and initialized. We have a more complicated control expression. Let's evaluate this in pieces. 5 is greater than 1, so that's true. Dum is less than 8, so that also is true. This means and in the, the uh, Java language, similar to the word and in Visual Basic. So if you have a true and with a true, overall, that makes it true, and therefore we do go through the while loop the first time. We system out print num plus hyphen. Num is 5, so that prints. This plus performs string concatenation, so it glues the hyphen next to the uh, integer 5. Num minus minus means to subtract 1 from uh, 5. Dum plus plus adds 1 to dum to make it 6. The curly brace tells us to go back up to the top of the while loop. We evaluate the control expression again. Breaking this down into pieces, again, we have a true and a with a true. We go through the loop. We system out print num plus hyphen. So a four and a hyphen uh, get attached to that because it's print and not print ln. That is, it's all in the same line. Num minus minus. Dumb plus plus. We go back up to the top of the for, uh, loop, and I will let it up to you to do the rest of the exercise. There's still a little bit more work to do here, since uh, this still has not turned into a false. The control expression is still true. I'm going to circle, though, the wrong answers intentionally, just to catch anybody who scrolls to the end of this YouTube video to see the final answers. So um, this is not the final answer for number two. This is not the final answer. Okay, number three. Two variables here. Again, five and five. A more complicated control expression. Num greater than one. Work from inside the parentheses out. Uh, five is greater than one, so that's a true. This symbol means not in Java, so the not of a true makes all of this false. So we have a false being ORed. This is the equivalent to the word OR in Visual Basic. False OR, whatever we get from this mess, working from inside the parentheses out according to the order of operations. DUM is 5. We ask, is 5 greater than or equal to 8? Uh, false. But we have this NOT around that set of parentheses. So the NOT of a false is uh, overall true. 
and that we now evaluate the whole control expression, a false or with a true. Overall, that whole thing is currently true. Look it up on the uh, truth table that we studied last year in Visual Basic, but that's how false or true evaluates to a true. Therefore, we do go through the while loop and we do system out print something. Again, we need to work inside the parentheses uh, here. Num plus dumb is 10. Because these are both integers, the computer does perform arithmetic, and that plus means to add mathematically 5 plus 5. But now we, we have the situation where we're printing, print parentheses, 10 plus hyphen. Well, just like uh, on a previous exercise up here, when you have a, an integer being plused with a, a string, string concatenation uh, glues these two pieces together. So in the system out print uh, console output here, we get that much so far. We now come to this line of code num equals num minus 1. We always work the right hand side of, of an assignment statement first and plugging in num, which is 5 for this num, 5 minus 1 is 4. Whatever we simplify this right hand side equal to, it travels over here to the left side and plugs into this variable, which coincidentally is num, the same variable where we uh, pulled the 5 out of. So that 5 is overwritten with a, a 4. This line of code, just straightforward and simple, it adds 1 to dumb. I'm going to pause at this point and just stress that whoever wrote this code did so with uh, inconsistent style. This line of code could have been rewritten as num minus equals 1 to, to take advantage of that compound operator just like we see in this line of code. So uh, that could have been a, a way to do it. At least we're consistent then. Or we could have, of course, expanded this second line of code to dumb equals dumb plus 1. And now it's uh, expanded more. And it's, again, it's similar to this line of code. So either way, uh, just try to be consistent with your code. And uh, we now hit the curly brace, which sends us back up to the top of the while loop. We now have to evaluate the control expression all over again to see if it's currently true or false. And I will let you pick up from there. So um, check to see if overall this is true. If so, you're going to go through the loop again. If this is false, we are done with this as our final output. I'm going to circle these wrong answers, though. Again, catching anybody who's a cheater or, or uh, too lazy or too lazy to watch the whole uh, video. Number four, num equals zero. Zero is less than or equal to one, so this is a true, and we do go through the loop. Even though there are no curly braces, this statement here is part of the body of that while loop. We print the zero. We go back up to the top of the while loop. Zero is still less than or equal to one, so it's a true, so we print, oh, it's print and not print ln. So a zero prints out next to that. Don't cross this zero out and make it a zero again. There is no assignment statement saying num equals zero. So that, that's just still zero and that's the way it is. We go back up to the top, it's true, so we print another zero. We go back up to the top, it's true, so we print another zero. This will never end. So I am uh, going to uh, uh, just stress to you that you should write infinite loop here. Infinite loop should be what uh, you write down as the answer. According to the directions up above, please notice that you should write infinite loop. If you want to, you can draw an arrow or etc. or dot 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 here to show the pattern. But once again, I'm going to circle the wrong answer. Actually, that zero is the right answer. But this, I'm going to... Uh, uh, not write infinite loop in this video to again catch somebody who did not listen to the video. For full credit you need to write infinite loop here if I check this homework tomorrow. Number five. Number five, num equals one and sum equals zero and we check the control expression. Well you have to do the subtraction first that according to the order of operations. What is zero minus one? 
hey, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Is 0 less than negative 1? No, it's not. So this is all uh, simplifies to false. And that means we don't even iterate this loop one simple time. We're finished. Um, we drop out here below the, the end of the while loop. System out print sum, which is 0, with a comma and a blank space, and then um, concatenated to that num, which is 1. So there's your, this, this is the correct answer for number 5. I am now going to uh, show you the answers to the whole worksheet. Have a good day.